Greetings, everybody. This is Tim Jean again. Um, thanks for all the support and comments and feedback. Appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'm new. I don't know what anybody's interested in. I'm just recording what my experiences are, um, which is why the channel is named per Experience Preferred. I want to experience things, not just be told about them and help you experience the same things. Um, first thing I want to talk about is this pangolin. Uh, my first time lapse was this in black. This one's in uh, glow in the dark as my daughter requested. Very good print. Came out beautiful on the Anchor Make M5. No supports, no adhesion issues. Worked great. Um, I also want to talk about this. So I've been trying various filaments, and this was one that was given to me to try. This came from a company called Lee Fong, L-E-E-F-U-N-G. It's available at some of the Amazon international sites, but not available in the U.S., which is what piqued my interest. And it's garbage. Um, these are some examples of prints that I started doing. It didn't come out smooth. It was very globby. Um, and it had a lot of adhesion problems. And here's a raft I tried using to improve the adhesion, and it just falls apart. It's not a good option. Um, another perfect example is this is the raft from the Lee Fong filament. Using the same G code, changing nothing but the filament. This is the same raft using Matchbox, ha excuse me, Hatchbox. Lee Fong, Hatchbox. Big difference, and all the thing, the only thing that changed was the brand of filament. Another good example from the Hatchbox. Adhere very well, it's got great surface on the bottom. Um, I like how this prints that bottom surface because um, it's, it's very strong. And that brings me to what this was for. I have a Dell monitor here that I wanted to mount on this Gladiator gear track system. I want to bring everything up off of the desk or workbench as much as possible. So I want to be able to hang that monitor right here. Um, and I found a lot of prints online that allow me to print, print different accessories for the gear wall such as this this is just a really basic mount first one i tried it works great there's a little shelf here and i'll talk about that in a moment and that's an abs this is abs it works on the wall um and that works great because my cabinet behind me these cabinets above me are all hanging on this gear wall with the intent that the only thing I have to move is the workbench and I can clean everything under here. I don't have to move a cabinet in order to get behind a cabinet to get clean under a cabinet. Um, so that is why I wanted to build that vase amount. Um, so my original thought was to build the mount out of one piece. The intent was you'd have the mounting bracket on this side. You've got the base that actually attaches to the monitor on this side. Works great to attach, but what happened to the rest? Well, I did a poor design. It prints like this, and there's this was a flat surface to go to the mount on for the bracket for the gear wall. And I didn't design the model right, so there was nothing to support the print. So I decided to do a two-part print. And part number one is the vase amount, and it's threaded. So I could build part number two, which is the part that actually attaches to the wall. And this part would screw onto that and the monitor to that. It worked pretty well with one problem. On here, you've got this outer wall that adds thickness and stiffness, and you have an inner wall and the threads that add thickness and stiffness. So I had no problem. On here, you just have one outer wall, 
and then one outer wall with 10% infill. So my plan is to put another hole through here that will give me another outer wall, which is thicker, that will go through here and add some stiffness and then increase the infill to 20 or 30%. I'll let you know how that works. But the, I use uh, Fusion 360 to design this. The threads work great. Take a little bit to get them loosened up, but once they're loose, this works really great. Um, and I'll let you know how it works out in the future. Um, I also want to address a question from Andre Phil Philip, I believe. Apologize if I got that wrong. My experience with ABS. I don't use an enclosure. This is my printer. That's where it lives. This is my detached workshop. I do have over here in the corner, you can see my AC unit. So it is heated and cooled in here. I haven't run that in two or three months once it got a little bit cooler from the summer heat. Um, I haven't run it. it it's comfortable in here, t-shirt, um, sufficient. And I haven't had any problems in general. I'm not a big fan of Siri. But here is an example. It is the shelf. That attaches the gear wall you can see it's split right here when it was printing on the bed you could watch this edge pull up and it's still functional um, does what I need uh, it's just doesn't look as nice um, but other than this I haven't had any issue with another exception and that is my moon uh, this moon is printed in white ABS plastic again. And my moon has rings. I think this is the ABS problem of shrinking material after you start printing. It printed well. There's no cracks, there's no holes. It, it did well. Um, I just think the ABS shrink and cause those ridges. As you can see, I'm starting to reprint that. It is 19 hours left of a 22 hour print. So I will share with you whatever comes out of it. Um, but it looks weird, still cool. I don't know. Um, so that brings me back to how's the printer doing? Once I figure out my own issues and fix my own mistakes, actually not a problem. But I'm still having the occasional network drop. I wasn't able to, for example, share the, the time lapse for this because the network drop. And you also just heard another AI warning. The AI has detected something wrong. I can look at the print there's nothing wrong with the print, it, at least that I can detect. Even on regular prints, I'm getting every 15 minutes or so, uh, maybe less than that, um, warnings that the AI has detected some error in the print and go check the print. Depending where I am, I get on the camera, I check it, it's fine. With the exception that when I was printing this moon, the network dropped. Lost the time lapse. I lost the ability to see if the AI was working. So, network's not perfect. It's a much, much better than what it was when I had the 5G and the 2.4G uh, systems out here. Or, excuse me, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi going out here. Um, so, it's partially resolved. Somebody asked if I'm still having Wi-Fi problems if I turn the 5 gigahertz back on. Yes, I have more problems if I turn it back on, even though it's now activated and associated uh, than when it's off. So what I did on my Unify system is I added a second network. First network, see, another AI recognition. An error has been detected, please check. 
I'm hoping that just as the software matures, that goes away. But um, I added a second network, and that is 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. That's for everything else that runs in my workshop. And then this is on a dedicated network, 2.4 gigahertz. Runs better, but still not perfect. Hopefully we'll see some updates. But that's what I've got for today. Uh, if you have any questions, you want me to try something, you got a model that's weird, and you want me to try, uh, let me know. If you're waiting for yours and you have questions, uh, let me know, and I'll share all I can. Thank you very much, and have a good day.